what's the big deal with upsets? Upset recovery. I mean, upsets. We did them in the uh, in our uh, private pilot check ride, right? Probably do them in instruments. You know, all that kind of stuff. It's easy peasy stuff. Well, it is easy until it uh, surprises you, and it's beyond what you did in training. So stick with Sunfly, where we're going to explore upset recovery. The particular upsets, nose high, nose loaded. I'm Scott Perdue, and today on uh, Flywire, we're going to explore upset recoveries. We're going to explore nose high and nose low. Basically, there's basically four different things happening here, or four different kind of maneuvers, if you will. Uh, one is going to be, uh, we're going to do in the nose high, we're going to do a bunt, which is popular, and the other one, we're going to do a roll-off. I call it a roll-off, and uh, the FAA actually says, you know, you can uh, set your bank angle as required to uh, let your vector drop. I prefer the roll-off, but we're going to take a look at both of those, and we're going to talk about them. Uh, I've got a new camera today, uh, and I'm going to try to get the instrument panel as we do these things, and hopefully that'll uh, give us a good picture of what's going on instrument-wise. I mean, we're doing this visually, but if visual is not available, then you're going to do it on instruments. So we're going to see if we have what we have in the way of instruments available to do this. Portland traffic wipe and hands it back, taxi uh, 35 Portland. Oh, FAA defines a uh, upset recovery as, or an upset situation as plus 25 degrees of bank or minus, or sorry, pitch and minus 10 degrees of pitch. Um, you know, or 45, more than 45 degrees of bank. Let's see, how do you do, or how do, you do a steep turn? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, or a speed inappropriate for all those things. Okay, that's all well and good. You got to have some parameters to work on that. I think of an upset more as uh, the airplane's not doing what you a wanted to do or expected to do. So how do we fix that and make it do what we want it to do? And uh, that's uh, and get back within the boundaries of uh, uh, under control, straight and level, or you know primarily, and then we can sort something. Later. So that's what we're going to look at today. First one's going to be a uh, nose high uh, bunt. Okay. So over, we'll be like, we're going to pitch up to about 30 degrees and just straight pitch. And there's going to be a lot of blue sky. That's all we're going to see. So then what do we do? How do we, how do we handle it? Um, we'll just bunt. We kind of uh, lighten the seat until we, uh, uh, until we recover. And we're going to see how, A, how long that takes, how slow we get, all that kind of stuff. Then, then we're going to do it again, same situation, but we're going to do a roll-off. And uh, I'm going to limit the roll-off. In the Air Force, we used to do this to 90 degrees and just let the nose slice down and then recover. It's really easy to do in a trainer or a fighter, but it's not so easy to do, not a good thing to do in a transport category airplane. It's so big and your, uh, roll, can, your roll rates are so slow uh, that it's actually kind of could be counterproductive. You could get stuck in a situation where uh, it's not recoverable. So don't get yourself in a worse situation. So what we're going to do today is we're going to limit our roll off to about 45 degrees, not even 60 degrees of bank. We're going to use 45 degrees and let the nose slice down. I think that'll be enough to get the lift vector down. And we're going to talk about, I got a little demo show, show for you in a few minutes and we're going to show what that looks like. Okay, then we're going to do the uh, nose lows. We're going to do kind of a medium nose, nose low just because we have to with a little bit of bank. Okay, roll level. We're going to, as I said, and primarily at the first, I'm going to do the visual part of this. Then we're going to come back and we're going to look at the uh, instrument panel and talk about this from an instrument perspective. So uh, that'll be secondary. All right, so we're going to figure out what that is. The next one we're going to do is an inverted. Uh, you know, where it rolls us past uh, uh, 180 degrees. We we're basically like this, uh, past 100 degrees. We might be 135, we might be 145, whatever. We're going to be like this, and then we're going to have to recover. And we're going to do some important things here. And just about every single one of these, the first thing we're going to do is unload the airplane. We're going to push, okay? I want to unload the, the wings. Uh, to make sure that boundary layer is attached and we're getting all the lift we can for whatever speed we have. And uh, for a nose low, especially an inverted, uh, we are going to demo one where I don't unload. And you're going to see the difference. OK, 
Okay? So the what you want to do is you want to unload so you stop the down track because here you've got whatever G you're pulling in addition to 1G, God's G. So you're doing over 2Gs. Uh, so, and you're going to no drop your nose, bear your nose real fast. So we're going to do those things and feel good to see our oil is good. So let's do a quick run up. All right, the engine looks good. All our settings are good. Trim's good. Mixture, prop, throttle to go, trim set, flaps are up. Florida traffic, white bonanza, taking the active 3-5, uh, departing to the south, Portland. How's the rake? You're up. Power set. All right, first thing we're going to do is a nose high and a bunt. Oh, there we go. Let's roll out. Pitch it up. All right, we're in usual attitude. Let's recover. There's the bunt. Not a big deal. Nice and easy in this airplane. Okay. Let's get back down to our original altitude. There's our close to original altitude, original airspeed. All right, here we go. We're going to do the same thing. Okay, this is an unusual attitude, so we're nose high. Slice off. Let it recover. We're even with the horizon. Roll out with some rudder and aileron, and we're good to go. Over. All right, let's get to do a nose low, and this is kind of a medium nose low. No. No more than about 80 degrees of bank, and uh, see what the, uh, it's more than 10 degrees, maybe 20 or so. So, uh, here we go. There's 20 degrees, nose low, rudder, pull it back. Now, this, what you do with power in this situation is, uh, you remember your, our maneuver speed that we uh, worked out in an earlier video, a VA on this airplane's 145. I think 140 is a good speed. Uh, to work on that, because I don't know, I didn't really compute it for my gross weight, but uh, 140 works. So uh, if I'm below 140, I'm not going to change the power. Or if I'm below 140, I'm going to push the power in. Uh, for my purposes today, I'm not really doing that, but in training, that's what I expect you to do. If we're below 140, you push the power in. And if I'm above 140 degrees during the recovery, I want to pull power off. Okay, that's, uh, that's kind of important. What I'm doing is, is I'm setting these demos up at a fairly low speed so I don't get really get really high speed. It's not my purpose. So that's a nose uh, nose low, uh, kind of a, a quick knockoff with a uh, like a wake up set or something like that. That's pretty close to what happened to me at uh, ORD one day. All right, traffic's clear. We're going to do a nose low this time, and we're going to do it inverted. All right. So here we go. All right, we're inverted, push, roll, get the lift vector up, and then recover. There's 145, we're just over that, I'm not going to change the power, and that's the recovery. That is a nose low inverted. The important point here is that we push. In all of these, you push. And the reason you push is you want to unload the wing, okay? We'll deal with our speed as we go. That's the, that's the key but we pushed unload, especially when you're inverted. All right, so now we're going to try an inverted nose low, and I'm going to pull the power because I really don't want to get too fast as we start this, but I am not going to push. So let's watch this. All right. Hold my beer. All right, here we go. So roll inverted. All right, we are at usual attitude, and then this is the... I didn't unload to stop my acceleration. Right up to 160. We lost a lot of altitude, saw a lot of vertical. We don't need to do that. We do not need to do that. So, I would have been a good idea to pull a little bit of power on that one. So remember, you pull power if you're over 140, your maneuver speed. It, uh, leave the power in or push it up if you're below 140. 
Most of the time when you're nose high, that's going to be the issue as we get into the power. So just for kicks and grins, once again, I don't see anybody close to us. We're going to do uh, another low, nose low, but we're going to do a push and roll. Push and roll. Okay, I want to get a little more altitude and lose a little more smash. All right, there, that's good. So roll. Inverted. Push. You can see the nose stops tracking. And then we get the lift vector up and we recover. As you can see in the video, you just don't have an awful lot of time to assess and then react properly in an unusual attitude, nose higher, nose low. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about that and I drug out some uh, visual aids out of the attic so we can uh, talk about airplane attitude, roll pitch, and lift vector. Okay, so let's talk real quick about the, uh, the nose high situation, all right? I'm not so worried about in a nose high uh, unusual attitude. I'm really not so worried about where my wings are uh, in relation to that. I just want to assess that I'm going nose high. This is my lift vector and you remember in a turn uh, your lift vector is going to be this way but it's the sum of gravity and turn okay which are 90 degrees from each other and that's the resultant lift vector okay so um, that's how that kind of works. So in a, uh, a nose high situation um, what I'm going to see, how am I going to assess that? Uh, we saw that visually, if you're looking outside the airplane, that's what the last, uh, the, just what we just saw a sec. Uh, if you're looking outside the airplane, then uh, it's actually easier to tell and react to what your uh, situation is by just looking outside. They don't necessarily have to look at any, anything inside as long as you have a horizon. Uh, you can do that. If you don't have an horizon, you have an instrument. And we're actually going to run through just instrument reference only here in, in a second or two once we finish this discussion, and you can see what it looks like and how it goes. So in an instrument recovery, you're looking at increasing and decreasing, and blue or brown, okay? What do I mean by that? Well, if your nose up, okay, what's going to be decreasing? Well, uh, your airspeed is going to be decreasing, and that means that your altitude and your VSI should be increasing, you're climbing. And you should probably see a lot of blue versus not much brown. That tells me I'm nose high. So you have a choice, okay? With our lift vector, as we keep going nose high, we don't really know necessarily how high we are. That lift vector is going like this as we're slowing down, we're getting closer and closer to the stall, we unload the airplane, okay? And in an unload, we're not going to stall the airplane. We might get very close to it, but it won't be in a stall condition. And then we get down to nose below the horizon, and we can accelerate, and we can get our lift back, and we can level off, and we've recovered. Okay? Takes a bit of time, and we get to a fairly a slower airspeed doing that. The other option that we looked at was roll off. Okay? So that's where we use lift vector in our favor to bring that nose down from wherever it is, okay? So in this instance, we were getting 30 degrees like this, inclined like that, and then we rolled off, okay? So if you see, we rolled off to about 45 degrees of bank. Now you remember that sum, gravity, turn, lift vector, okay? Instead of being like this, for the bunt, it's like that, and that results in the nose slicing to the, to, uh, to, towards the ground at a faster rate, and we don't burn as much energy. I prefer the roll-off. Um, it's a matter of opinion. It's in. The, it's actually in, the FAA talks about it in, uh, in the in the unusual attitude recovery situation. But it uses bank angle as required. Uh, so it's up to you whether we do that or not. Now let's talk about a nose low recovery situation. Okay. So say whatever bank angle we have by definition, we don't really know the bank angle, and it's not actually super important to us that we do know the bank angle. What's important is, is we assess, are we nose high or nose low? So we already talked about nose high, what's nose low? What's increasing and what's decreasing? And how much blue and brown are we gonna see? Well, let's see. If we're nose low, that means the airspeed's probably increasing and your altimeter and your VSI are decreasing, okay? They're going down and you see more brown, okay? Confirms that we're nose low. So now we have to figure out what's the shortest direction to the horizon, okay? 
how do we roll the shortest direction to the horizon? And we talked in a previous video about what's a sky pointer and what's a, uh, uh, what is a, basically what we have in GA as a, as, a, as a bank angle pointer. Okay, it doesn't point to the sky, it doesn't point to the ground. It just follows the bank angle. And if you, if you go with me, you can think of it as your lift vector, okay? Your lift vector bank angle pointer. A sky pointer is really cool, but you're only gonna see that in, uh, in larger airplanes, uh, jets, and uh, commercial transport, stuff like that. Okay, so what do we do with the bank angle pointer? How do we determine that? What's the shortest direction? Okay, if we're, we're like this, that means that there's some angle. This is, this is the horizon, and this is what our lift vector is, our bank angle pointer is. So what is the shortest direction gonna be? It's gonna be a roll left, okay? That's, so that's what we do, is we unload the airplane, okay? We wanna stop our nose track, and we wanna unload that wing, and then we roll in the shortest direction of the horizon and recover. Is it important to get wings level for the recovery? No. As long as that lift vector is above the horizon. So here's the horizon, okay, that's the horizon. If it's like that, we're there. Get it less than 30 degrees, it's gonna be better, okay? 30 degrees or less, you can start pulling towards the horizon and recovering from your nose low attitude, all right? So remember we talked about airspeed, we talked about that a bunch of times. What's your decision, okay? If your nose high, that's when you're gonna be slow. So if I'm below 140, I'm gonna push the power in, okay? If I'm below, above 140 for a nose low, I'm gonna pull the power out. What I don't wanna do is increase my descent, my turn radius, while I'm below the horizon, while my nose is below the horizon, my, while my lift vector is low, because that means more altitude loss. If I'm high, if I'm nose high, all that extra energy will prevent me from stalling and then therefore losing uh, very much altitude as well. So airspeed's important here. So what do we do if we are in a inverted nose low situation like this, okay? We have something working against us in this situation, and that is God's G, all right? We have whatever G we're pulling, and then because the ground is pulling us at one G towards the center of the earth, double that. Say if we're doing one G, we feel normal, and the ground's pulling us one G, now we're doing two Gs. So what's happening is, and you see that in the video, that the, earth, the nose just tracks down. As it's tracking down and we're pulling to recover, we end up way off heading. We end up uh, I can't remember, I'd have to look, but probably as much as 60 degrees off heading. Not that heading is important, it's just that it's time. With the nose below the horizon means altitude loss. And in general, uh, when I tried that for the video, I lost at least a thousand feet, maybe a little bit more on each one of those. Just roll and pull, not push first. So push first, and, that's, and you could see that in the video where you actually saw the nose tracking and then it stopped, it just whap stopped and then we tried to rotate around that point okay so push and you think that's kind of counterintuitive because you're going towards the ground but you think about that for a second if we're pulling backwards that's when we're tracking the nose towards the ground at at least one g added to whatever we're pulling if we push then we're pushing the nose up towards the ground and we stop that nose track toward you know to nose low and that's what we want and then we figure out what's the closest direction to the horizon. It is not continuing the roll around, okay? That's a myth. People that think you'd say that, they've never done aerobatics. Any airplane, including this one, uh, an extra even, is gonna drop the nose, okay? This had about 500 degrees per second nose rate, and the nose still drops during that amount of time, okay? So if we're doing that, uh, unusual attitude recovery with the nose low and we're inverted and we roll all the way around the nose is continuing to drop that entire time and what started out as maybe 10 or 15 degrees nose low now we're at 35 45 even 50 degrees nose low which means more altitude loss so it is not all the way around okay bank angle pointer lift pointer again okay where is the horizon okay that is the horizon here we are like this, that's our lift vector, that's the bank angle difference is really close there. It's a long ways around that way, so this is the way you roll, towards the shortest direction to the horizon. And again, when you get the nose above, or get the lift vector above the horizon, 30 degrees of bank or less, start pulling, and that'll minimize your altitude loss, okay? So we're gonna take a quick tour around an attitude indicator, the attitude indicator that's in Charlie, uh, the Bonanza.
and uh, we're going to show you where we're going to look. Blue or brown, uh, all that kind of stuff, where the lift vector bank angle pointer is, and uh, stuff like that. So I think you're going to have fun with that. Then we're going to do instrument recoveries. We'll do the same profile as we did visually. We're going to do the nose high bunt. We're going to do the nose high roll off, followed by the nose low medium. Okay, I call that medium because we're not inverted. And then we're going to do the nose low inverted. Okay, and uh, you're going to see how that goes. The only thing we're going to not going to do is we're not going to do the the uh, we're going to do push. We're not and roll. We're not going to do just roll. Uh, so stand by. I think you'll enjoy it. you enjoyed the, uh, the video. It was uh, fun making it. If you want to come learn how to do some of these upset recoveries yourself, uh, come on. Give me a shout. Either uh, uh, go to the website, eagleflyingmuseum.org, and uh, we can set this up. I appreciate you watching. And uh, if you'd like to subscribe, hit the subscribe button down here on the lower left. Bells for notification, that'd be great. And we just started the uh, membership side of the Flywire channel. So check out the membership side. We're going to have uh, the live stream Q&As. Uh, we're going to do meetups uh, when I'm in your area. And we're also going to do, uh, there's a chance you could get the video yourself. But I'm going to put bonus uh, video, bonus stuff that doesn't actually make it in a video. When, uh, when I publish it, so I guess thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on Flywire.